Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group and it's time for the awesome new November wrap-up video. And this one's special because we have a guest with us. We have Warren Cook who works in business and economic development stuff with the city of Kalamazoo. City of Kalamazoo, okay. yes sir. So you work for the city? Yes sir. Okay. And you've, you've been a fan and follower of The Geek Group for, God, years well, now. Well, years. <laughs> That's right. And I wanted to show you what we've done. So the, you, you've seen the, the tour of the shop as it is? As I, well. I have seen the new layout. This is absolutely fabulous. It's, it's I mean, it's work. organized, it's neat, it's, it, it is bright. The lighting, I don't, can't imagine what you've done with the lighting, but it seems like it's fourfold <laughs> increase since it I was is here. It is, just about. <laughs> and the, everything's code yeah. compliant. Let's, let's show them what Ex we've done. Oh, please. All right, so here's some of the updates for November. Um, one of the first things is this. Thanks to a very generous donation from all the cool guys over at Kalamazoo Electric. Uh, we want to thank the two mics for coming out and all the work they've been putting in around here. Yay, Mike. Yes, well, there's two mics. We have, at Mike, one point, Mike. At one point, they had three. <laughs> so oh, we want to thank Dave and the Mikes and all the guys over at Kalamazoo Electric for everything you've done. Um, they made all the lights work. That, that's what they've been doing. Uh, they, did, they installed all these so that we meet all the fire codes now. Absolutely. And we had uh, another local contractor, Mark Bombershine, over at Bombershine Window and Door, did four brand new doors for us, high security, like steel manly doors with the big crash bars so and we meet the fire codes and those, all that. Those are all mandatory stuff, but yep. it, you've got to have it to work. And we've got it now, which is really cool. So we've got the new doors in, we've got the, the exit lights, we've got tons of new lighting, oh. and they did stuff in the studios as well. Now we've got all the stuff that everybody's used to seeing. We've got like uh, the robots are out, we've got big project Jeff, and we've got Heather, and we've got all the small demos out and running, which are looking cool. So everything's organized. We're ready for school groups now. Yes, you are. Um, which is a lot, given that we started with an abandoned ink factory. Uh -huh. it's, it's taken a fair bit of work. Uh, now the let's floor. take them in, and mm. uh, if, if you follow me over here, we've got some other stuff that we want to show them. Um, that's this stuff. I'm gonna have it just come on over here. It's okay. We got a camera in the shot, but it's all right. We're gonna move some cameras so we can show you guys some other stuff. Mikey, come on out. Alex, head on over here. Saw. Table saw. We've had it's it for a, nice a long bench. time, but we've we've grown beyond the table saw. We now have this. This is the first of three. Um, we'll show them the other two in a second. But this is an SR100 sheet router donated by Haas. And we want to thank them for their massive donations to the group. Incredible. But we've got this. We've got a brand new lathe and mill. And it's great. What this does is allows us to create our own stuff here. We can build projects and demonstrations and stuff at a level that we've never been able to before. Oh. And one of the cool things that we're able to do now is because this builds, if you want to make one of something, no problem. But if you want to make another one, you hit the green button and put in a new piece and you can make a thousand of something. The Geek Group is going to start making and selling Geek Group specific stuff. Um, a lot of Tesla coil things, because there's a lot of high voltage hobbyists out there that want to have more than just a box for their primary coil form. So we're going to be able to make all kinds of custom stuff, especially for the high voltage crowd. But science kits, projects, things oh. that people can go to our website and buy cheap and build things at home and have the complicated parts that you can't just go to Radio Shack and get. So yep. it's, it's a lot of stuff like that. Now let's show them the art room. Oh, Come on in oh, here and we'll show this, you guys the big new toys. This is incredible. All right, guys, this is one of the biggest upgrades for November. Haas donated not one, but three massive machines to us. We have the big SR100 that you've seen already. Plus we have the TL1 tool room lathe, which is a beautiful new machine that a lot of people are gonna get to see. And we have over here, We've got the TM1 milling machine. This is a tool room mill. So we've got the lathe and the mill. This is the TL, that's the TM. And they're great. They've got every option you could possibly need. We've got it. Rigid tapping. We've got the automatic tool posts and tool changers and all that jazz, all kinds of stuff. And these are here for members to come down and learn how to use. And one of the big things that we're going to be producing is we're going to start just, just to get started we're gonna do a hundred videos on each machine of just how to do stuff because these things are expensive. They're hard to get. Very. Not a lot of people get to learn on this stuff and they sell them primarily to professionals. That's right. And what we wanna do is take the genie out of the bottle. There's about 20 different companies around the world that make educational materials and classes to teach people how to use these. 
but there's nobody who's taking the time and spending the huge amounts of money to do this for free, to just say, here's how to do it. And that's what the Geek Group does. Yes. And what we want to do is put these in the hands of the common man, because oh. there's guys like you, smart guys out there, that they get an idea for a widget. They want to they make uh, a new type of hose nozzle. Okay, let's say you want to make a new type of hose nozzle. Right. And they think that the traditional mentality is, well, to do that, I'd need to get a couple million dollars in funding and build a factory and all that jazz. And it doesn't work that way anymore. With what, the way this works is if you want to make a hose nozzle, you write the program. That's right. You put the piece of metal in the machine, you close the guard, you press the green button, and a hose nozzle pops out. You put a piece of metal in, push the green button, and out pops a hose nozzle. It's That's really right. that easy. And you can buy this for the price of an expensive car. <laughs> And you can put this in your garage, mm -hmm. and if people simply know that this exists, and they learn how to do it, right. this brings manufacturing back to America. This creates at the, jobs. At the personal level. At, yeah, because that one guy starting out with one machine making a couple of hose nozzles, well, he can make a few thousand a day with this, and he starts selling more, and then he's going to buy two machines. Well, now he needs a buddy, and there's a job. That's and it right. just grows, and it's, it's taking this and making actual manufacturing something that everybody who really wants to can do. Hands-on, real yeah. jobs. And, and these are like real people doing a real day's work right. and it, it benefits society. Oh. And that's what we're going to do with this by taking it away from the elite priesthood of people that, because you have to be worthy to, to program. You don't. You can program one of these and I can teach you how to do it. Well, you'd have to. And, and, and <laughs> that's what we're here for. So thanks to the donation of Haas, we're going to change the paradigm and, and let the genie out of the bottle. We're going to get this out for, oh, I'm hitting buttons. And, <laughs> and we're going to teach people how to do this stuff because it's fun. That is fabulous. This is what the Geek Group is here to do. So that's the basics of the November upgrades. And I want to thank you for coming down. Well, you're very welcome. This it's is Warren absolutely Cook. Absolutely a treat. This is the guy who's going to help get us some people from the city down here to take a look at what we're doing. We've got to do that. We need to. So what, what do you think of, of the November upgrades? Because you haven't been here in a month. I haven't been here in probably two months. Okay, so what do you think? I wouldn't have known this is the same building. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I can live with that. It is fabulous. What you've done is absolutely outstanding. Moreover, the stage is set for the kinds of experiences through the training and the videos that you're going to be producing to, to actually bring people back into some I'd like to try my hand at this that's the idea kind Just of idea and get your feet wet that's Just right try it out and see if you like this and and when that works or when it doesn't you have immediate feedback it's not as though you have to spend a lot of time in the book and then go back through the graduation yep. and then this, go out this into isn't, the it's training it's not like a trade school or something it is, like that uh, it's, it's instant and it's real it's right and, there yeah this is, this is really at the heart of where future manufacturing is. It, all the, uh, all the, the articles you see out there are all about one-on-one -on -one and one-on-multiple kinds of business connections. Mm -hmm. And so when there is a need out there, somebody's got a desire to build something, they're going to be looking for a contact. Guess what? Ye, by virtue of the training you're doing, you will have a database of contacts for folks to try. Absolutely. So that sets the stage for this being a seedbed for more future manufacturers. Yeah. This is really, really exciting stuff. And there's a, it's making me crazy. There's an alarm behind you, and I've got to clear that alarm. <laughs> it's, it's oh, the, I, I thought it was me. No, it's a low air pressure alarm because we turned off the compressor because ah. it was making noise and we were making another video. So right. it's making me crazy. <laughs> You can just turn those off for now. But this is not just a seedbed for that kind of thing, but this is a place for new industries to start. Yes. New companies, That's clear. Whole, whole major fields can come out of this because people can come in here with an idea, make their prototype, and say, I want to make more of these. And, and people can come and get exposed to things like this. And you've got your technical schools where they teach people how to operate these. And right. you need those. That's an important thing. It but is. this is a place where people come and they don't just learn how to operate. They learn how to program it. And the people that come here are more the people that are going to be buying these machines and building factories than the guys that are just going to be operating. So we, we reach a different type of people. 
I would think that, uh, that by having them and having people interested in using them, that you've set the stage for folks who have surplus runs, need a place to run it, and they we can, can take a contract with you to be here to do what they need to do and then move on. Yeah. We, so we're just, we're that stepping stone. You have other things you can do here. There's a million things going on. So yeah, that's November. Great stuff. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. This is Warren Cook with the City of Kalamazoo. And uh, we'll have more for you later. Thanks. <laughs>